This is Independent Practice uh, 3.1, page 181. Hopefully you've had a chance to attempt these, and uh, you're just checking to see how you did. Now, on the screen, it's a little fuzzy, but I'm going to rewrite them so you'll see what we're dealing with here. So you have 7.2 plus, got to line up my decimals, 9.5. Once the decimals are lined up, I just drop it, and then I add. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 9 is 16. So the first answer is 16.7. Okay. We have another addition. We have 1.34 plus, let's see, just 2. So 2 is in the 1's place value, so I line it up with a 1. And then I'm going to put a decimal right next to it. And then there's no places here and here. There's nothing there. Still nothing there. But I put zeros. Now I can add it up. 4 plus 0 is 4. 3 plus th 0 is 3. The dress decimal is dropped down. Or the decimal does. And then 2 plus 1 is 3. So my answer is 3.34. Okay. Number 3. 54... Point five plus put my decimal forty eight point fifty one. Now there's nothing right here, so I'm gonna add a zero, which is nothing. So now there's nothing where there was nothing. Okay, zero plus one is one. Five plus five is ten. Put my zero there. Carry there. The decimals just drop down right in place. One plus four is 5, and then 5 plus 8 is 13. Put my 1, 3, and then 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 4 more is 10. So my answer is 103.01. Okay. Now, that is finding the sum, or adding. Now it says find the difference. When you see the word difference, you're going to subtract. So 5.6 minus 3.5. Did I line up my decimals? I sure did, so I'm good to go. 6 minus 5 is 1, and 5 minus 3 is 2, and so my answer is 2.1. All right, now I have 97 with nothing, um, minus 16, so the 6 is in the 1s and the t 1 is in the 10s, but this is 0 0.9. Eight. Now I could put a decimal here. Now there's nothing right here and here. Let's put zeros so there's still nothing, but there's a number. Now you just got to remember how to subtract. You cannot take 8 away from 0. You can't say I have 0, I'm going to minus 8 because you can't do it. You don't have anything. So you go over to the neighbor, it has 0, it can't do anything. You go next, this 7 becomes a 6, and this becomes a 10. Now, let's try again. 0 minus 8. Still can't do it. So now I go to this 10, and it becomes a 9, and that becomes a 10. Now, I think I'm good. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 9 is 0. Drop my decimal down. 6 minus 6 is 0, and 9 minus 1 is 8. And so my answer is 80.02. Okay. Number 6, 58.67 minus 28, line my decimals up, 72. Okay. There we go. So I drop my decimal down here. Now I just subtract. 7 minus 2 is 5. 6 minus 7, cannot do it. So I come over here, the 8 becomes a 7, 6 becomes a 16. Okay, 16 minus 7 is 9. 7 minus 8, can't do that. Take from the 5, it becomes a 4. And that 7 becomes a 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. 4 minus 2 is 2. So my answer is 29. Point ninety-five. Hopefully you got one through six all good, and we'll keep going on. Let's move this down a little bit. 
There we go. The table shows the top three finishers in barrel racing. Okay, so here's barrel racing. What is the time difference between Nicholas and Sancho? Okay, difference. Ooh, that's a subtraction. Between Nicholas and Sancho. Okay, so here's Nicholas. 14.67. And Sancho is 16.4. Now, if I want to find the difference with them, I'm going to subtract. And I'm going to put the bigger one on top. So I go with 16.40 minus Nicholas, which is 14.67. And when I do that, it'll find me the difference between the two. All right, so 0 minus 7 can't do. This becomes a 3, and that's a 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 3 minus 6 can't do that. 6 becomes a 5. And the 3 becomes a 13. 13 minus 6 is 7. My decimals drop down. 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So the difference between those two is 1.73 seconds. All right. Number 8. In two months, Micah spent a total of $305.43 on groceries. She spent... 213 and 20 in the first month. How much does she, she spend in the second month? So I know my total. This is first month. If I take away the first month, it'll leave me with the second month. So 305.43 minus, line up all my place values, line up my decimal. Okay. Now I just subtract. 3 minus 0 is 3. 4 minus 2 is 2. My decimals drop down. 5 minus 3 is 2. 0 take away 1 cannot do. So I borrow. There you go. 10 minus 1 is 9. 2 minus 2 is 0. So in the second month, she spent 92.23. Okay. This one's a cool one, number 9. A hat costs 10.95. T-shirt costs fourteen twenty. How much change will sh you receive if you pay both items with a fifty dollar bill? So first of all, I need to know what both items together what they cost. So fourteen point twenty plus ten point ninety five. Okay, this is gonna be my total bill. Zero plus five is five. Nine plus two is eleven. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 0 is 5. My decimals, I forgot to drop them down. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. So together they cost 25.15. Now, I'm going to pay with a $50 bill. So, pay with a 50. And I'm going to take away this 25.15 because that'll leave me with how much change. How much change I'll get back. 25. 15. Okay, I got my decimals, line them up, drop them down. Now, here we go again. This is a tricky one. I got to remember how to subtract. I can't do 0 minus 5. So I go to the neighbor, he's got nothing. The other neighbor has nothing. So I go to this 5, it becomes a 4. This is a 10. Now, this becomes a 9, and this becomes a 10. Now, this becomes a 9, and this becomes a 10. Okay, now I can do everything. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 5 is 4. And 4 minus 2 is 2. 24.85 is the change you will receive. Okay? So this one had a two-step. Two steps you had to work through. Now, last one on the page. We have a 4x4 four four relay, and we have Carter here. Carter with 13.4. We have... Hmm. Oops. Uh, let's see. Freighter, I think it is, uh, has 12. And then we have Bolt, Bolt, 12. Okay. And then we have Powell. 
Okay, so let's look at this question. What is the combined, ooh, that tells me I'm probably going to add something, time of Carter and Freighter. So Carter and Freighter, I have uh, 13.4 plus 12, and I can put a zero there. It doesn't change it, but it has all place values now. 4 plus 0 is 4. My decimals drop down. 3 plus 2 is 5, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So the combined time is 25 Point four seconds. Okay, how much faster did Powell run his leg than Bolt? Okay, faster. How much faster? Looks like we're talking about the difference. So we're gonna have two score. We have two times, but we want to know the difference. Like how much faster is it? Did Powell run is than Bolt? Okay, so I have Bolt here. That's the bigger one. That one goes on top. And then Powell is 11.7. Okay, I want to subtract those, find the difference. I'm going to put a decimal here, and then there's nothing here, so I'll just put nothing. Now, 0 minus 7 I can't do. That becomes a 1, becomes a 10. So 10 minus 7 is 3. My decimals fall down. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, so 0.3 seconds. That's how much faster... Powell ran, then Bolt. Okay. Last one. What is the combined, okay, that's addition again, of all the runners? Oh, cool. Let's add them all up. So we have 13.4, 12, put a decimal there, and then nothing. 12, nothing. And then 11.7. So... All of these decimals line up, so that drops down there. 4 plus 0 plus 0 plus 7 is 11. goes like that. And then 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 2 more is 6, plus another 2 is 8, plus another one is 9. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So the combine of everyone is 49.1 seconds. All right, hopefully you were able to get all those. If you have any uh, questions, any troubles, just let me know, and I'll help you.